folks, my name is Thomas Riley Fool. We've got a big canvas here today and I'm going to try and paint a kookaburra. I actually have some little fellas out there right now, some kookaburras watching me paint this, so they're probably thinking, what are they doing? Why, are they, why is he painting me? But who knows what they're thinking. I've got a reference photo, but it's pretty cool that they are out there so I can go from the reference photo and also go from looking at them and really get how the cooker barrel looks. It's going to be mixed media. I'm going to really try and make it abstract as well as keeping it very lifelike so you know what you're looking. So it's going to be, it's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to this. Not much else I need to say other than that. It's a big canvas so I've got my easel up there that I'm going to mix with. I've got a table down here that you can't see right now that's holding the laptop with the reference photo and I have my two little models over there, my two little kookaburra models watching me paint this. Oh, no, one just flew away. Alright, sorry, we got one. One's enough. But, yeah, yeah, he'll probably leave soon. My talking's probably boring them. <laughs> Alright, well, there's not much else I can say other than that, so I'm just going to get stuck into it and let's see what we can make here. Alright, no worries. Cheers.
Alrighty, and there we have it, folks. The cookware painting is finally finished. It took me quite some time to finish this painting. So, yes, it is another painting that's been in the making for a very long time. I started it last year. I believe I started it before the Banksia still life with the Banksia flowers over there in the vase. So, yeah, so might have, I think I started it in September, somewhere around then. Um, so it's been a painting that, that I've been working on for quite some time, over a year, at least over a year. So it's gone through a lot of changes, you know. It, this painting is actually a fine example of growth, because I know when I first started this painting, well I'm sure you know, as through like watching the process of this painting, Every time I've gone back to it, I've I've grown as an artist as well as a person. So I've gone back to this painting with new ideas and new ways to approach a painting. And so every time I come back to this painting, there's always something new that I've learned, and I will put that in this painting. So it has gone through a lot of changes. It's I and it's it's been sitting down for quite some time. Because this painting has taken a long time, it's taken a long time because I haven't been consistent with it. So maybe I would have an hour painting, or I'd have a day at it, you know, but then I'll pop down for months, and then I'll come back with something that I've learned, or I'll, I, I believe it's, it is a good idea because this painting got to a point where I didn't know how to proceed, and I, it's been a a couple of occasions where I just stop painting in this painting because I just don't know how to proceed and I just don't know what else I can add. So it's been multiple occasions where I've just had to put this painting down because I don't know what to do and then it would be months later I'll come back with a new idea and I'll come back with, with, with more experience and then I'll put that in that painting and I'll use what I've learnt over those months and put it to good use, I suppose. So it's been a real big learning curve, this painting, you know? It's been a painting where I've, I've, I've got to put in all my experiences and all my um, lessons learned as an artist, as well as a person as well. I have grown with this painting a lot. So I'm very happy to say that it's finally finished and I'm um, and it's not, I'm not going to put it down for a couple of months and add something else to it, you know? I'm really happy with how it's looking right now. I don't want to add anything else, nor would I need to add anything else, I believe. I believe it looks really nice. It, it was... I'm really happy that I was... Because I know it got to a point where... Um, I, as I was saying, I don't know how to proceed, and so I'd go back to it and... This last time I came back to it, just before I finished it off, I thought, let's just have some fun with it, let's not be too serious with this painting, because there was a point when I was trying to copy the reference photo to exactly how it was looking, and but I, I got that out, you know, I, was in, I didn't have that mindset of I wanted to look like the photo, and since having that in my head that I don't want it to look like at the photo, the painting became a whole lot more fun than me trying my hardest to make it something where I just don't have the experience and know how to make it lifelike so I I wasn't able to do anything like that and I'm happy that I that I didn't have so much pressure on myself when I was painting on this this kookaburra so it, it does feel a lot better just getting back to the roots of why I became an artist was because I enjoy the process of painting and so it's fun when I get back to those roots of enjoying the process because every time that I get back to that that enjoyment, uh, the painting always, to me, it always comes out a lot better than what it does when I'm trying to just put so much pressure on myself to make the, make the painting just big masterpiece where in reality the the masterpiece is just 
the fun of the process and you just enjoying this passion that you have, you know, wherever it's anything, making music or whatever, you know, whatever your passion is, is as long as you're having fun along the way, then you know you're creating something magical or wonderful, however you want to put it. So yeah, so it was really fun when I was, um, when I followed the idea, just get heaps of different shades of blue. So I know the blue was looking quite plain, but since I've um, put in heaps of shades of blue, I'm really happy with how it's looking. Because this, pa this painting was, there was a point where it was just, it was real bland, it was plain, there was no excitement to it, there was no attraction, so, and I, I love that about a painting where it, it makes you look more than one, so that's exactly what I was trying to do with this one, and I'm happy that I thought of putting different shades of blue, because it does make it interesting, you know, it does make you look more than one, so I mean, it does for me at least. And it was only up to a, a couple of days ago where I thought, I'll pop in some gum leaves because uh, there wasn't really much happening at the top. There was a lot of green, different shades of green, but it seemed like it was missing something. And I, it was only up to a couple of days ago where I thought I'll pop in some gum leaves, and I'm really happy that I did because it it really just makes it feel like the kookaburra is submerged in a in a gum tree, you know. And then to top the icing on the cake, I thought, why not I add some red bottle gum nuts? So I did exactly that and that really just teased it off for me. I am very happy and I'm very thrilled with how the painting came out, especially considering that it didn't have a tail up to three weeks ago, you know, so very happy with how the painting is looking and I'm very happy to say that it's finally finished and I'm over the moon that it's finished because that just means I can move on to something else. Because I set myself a task where I wasn't going to start any new paintings until I'd finish the old paintings from last year and it's, it's only bloody taken me all year to finish off these paintings but, you know, all in good time, there's no rush. So I'm happy to finally call it for this painting and all I can say now is if you watch the whole video, make sure to give yourself a pat on the back because it is a long video. Even if you didn't watch the whole video, if you just skip through parts here and there, I still appreciate you. You know, it gives me much enjoyment, gives me much excitement knowing that my painting, the process of my paintings are being viewed and let alone just the painting itself. So, so give yourself a pat on the back if you made it for the whole video because I know I do like to make the videos quite long. They always turn out very long because I like to make it very raw. In saying that, I'm still time lapsing all the process. So, like, it, imagine if I wasn't time lapsing it, it'd be a very long video then, considering that I started this last year. So yeah, well, thanks for watching. You know, make sure to give a like if you enjoyed the video, and if you enjoyed it more than that, make sure to give me a subscribe because it all helps, and I would appreciate that very much. And don't forget to sh share the video along to your mates, spread the good word, and that's all I really have to say for now. So I'll stop my blabbering on and I, I'll get to it. I'll get to a new painting. I think I might start one this afternoon, but who knows. Alrighty, well, cheers for that, folks, and I'll catch you later. Alrighty, no worries. Cheers. Oh yeah, that's right, there's one more thing before you go, I forgot to mention, and this is actually a pretty funny story, so it's a bit of an easter egg if you don't know, but for the green on these gum leaves, I, I mix up the green with some blue and yellow, o although I didn't actually have yellow, that's right, I, um, I couldn't find any yellow, but I did find this, this orange, it was, it was very in between, it was more orange than it was yellow. But the thing with this orange, it, it was it was a really old paint tube, and it had a bit of a slit in the paint tube. So this orange, I think it was only just maybe caused maybe that day or so. But so it started to thicken up a bit. It started to get um, it wasn't the consistency of a normal acrylic paint where it's a bit sloppy and smooth and 
you can actually work with it. It started to harden up a bit, so so when I was mixing the the blue with this orange, I thought, oh, well, I need to make it a a bit wet. So, but at the time I was um drinking a beer, so I thought, why don't I just pour my beer into this this blue and this orange and mix that around to loosen it up a bit and and uh, I'm I'm very happy I, I did that because it's I feel like now that it's given that real that real authentic Australian feel with the beer and the, the gum leaves. And because I sketched up the gum leaves with an ink, um, every time that you paint over the ink the it shows through the paint because I feel the, the ink's just a bit more superior. It's more there's something, some chemical in there where it just it will show through the acrylic but come out uh, a different colour. So I had to give the gum leaves a couple of coats of this green. So there's there's thick amounts of layer layers of beer and green paint. And I absolutely love that. I reckon that's absolutely great, you know. And that's exactly what I was talking about before with trying new things, you know, as I've every painting I learn a new thing and today I or well, for this painting I learned that you can um use beer when you mix paint and I most certainly will be doing that for a lot more paintings. I reckon it's a funny little Easter egg to know about the painting that these gum leaves have got lots of layers of beer in them. So that's all I wanted to let you know that. A little funny Easter egg, but yeah. Well that's about it for now. So I'll say it again. Thanks for watching the video and subscribing and giving a like and sharing it and all that. It all helps so I'll catch you folks in the next video. Alright, no worries. Catch you folks later. Cheers.
Cheers for that folks and um, I'll catch you in the next video. Alright, catch you folks later. Cheers.